Hey, what's going on, ladies and gents? Welcome back to the Genshin Impact video. And as we all know, Ayato is going to be coming to Genshin Impact in 30 days almost. And he is going to be changing the game for the better. Now, why I think that is because Ayato as a character is a hydro sword user i'm assuming so since he's a hydro sword user we already have someone to compare him to as a four star character but we like to think of him as a six star character here we have shing cho now shing cho is also a hydro sword user obviously and he is probably one of the greatest characters to ever be on genshin impact now the reason why this character is extremely broken is because he was pretty much on release every 1.0 character is pretty much really powerful you know they didn't know what they were doing it was like brand new all they had was some beta knowledge and that's pretty much it King Cho is so powerful it's insane and that's why I think Kamasato Ayato is also going to be pretty powerful in a sense that he is going to have to be compared to Xing Cho. Now, Xing Cho can wield a four-star weapon as his best in slot, but obviously he can have better four-star or five-star weapons such as the Jade Cutter in order to increase his DPS. So that's one thing to think about. But because the Sacrificial Sword allows him to get energy recharge to the maximum potential because he has 61% on his sword, as well as, you know, the two times skill damage and energy particle regeneration, it's insane so his artifacts are super 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 easy to build either to go for police emblem or two piece hydro two piece glad whatever it may be as long as you have some sort of energy recharge you're going to be super fine now constellations every single one of his constellations is so good and that's what makes him an excellent character this one gives him an increased sword this one decreases hydro you know, resistance this one gives him a 50 percent additive multiplier is kind of insane and this just makes him just really good in generation in general guys this character is insane now we have Kamisato Ayato who's going to be coming out that has to be compared with the likes of Shing Cho. The reason Shing Cho is so good is because of his ultimate. Obviously his you know elemental skill is really powerful as well as this does insane amount of damage, right? His ultimate is where his you know bread and butter is at. His ultimate allows you to hit so many times that you know Hydro is almost always applied. Another character that we see this doing is obviously Tartaglia, in which his elemental skill will always allow you to apply hydro almost all the time and his icd is pretty short you will always always get hydro applied after using one hit from his ultimate and that's because his ultimate has you know a bunch of swords coming down ayato he has to be compared to shing cho he has to be compared to a c1 c2 whatever c0 c6 shing cho and he has to be better in every way shape and form because he has a sword five star character now because of that i don't think genshin is going to be releasing a character that had that's a five star no less worse than a first generation four star that's kind of weird to say but i don't think that is the case however if it is it's going to be a pretty weird situation why would they release a new character a new five star character that deals less damage or has less support capabilities and he's always 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 going to be compared to shing cho now, Xing Cho is amazing because he is Hydro and, you know, he does the important elemental reactions such as Freeze, such as Electro Charge, such as Vaporize, obviously. And this makes him an excellent character. Now, because of that, he's able to go into so many teams and is viable in almost every shape, way and form, especially because of how easy he is to build. Now, Ayato is going to be coming out and if he's a DPS character, he's going to be Hydro. Hydro is such a good element that I don't see him being a bad character at all. Everyone thought Tartaglia was a bad character until they learned how to use him, until they learned that he's such an excellent Hydro applier that he has to be on a Zhang Ling team in which he can vaporize all the time, or maybe even a Freeze team. There is some more, you know, Electro Charge teams that I also like as well. That's why Hydro is such a great element and why I think Hydro is going to have this little bit of a shift in which they might introduce more characters that, you know, do damage or support capabilities like that, especially like Kokomi. Kokomi is a healer, which I think Hydro wanted to be, but her output and reactions is just what's making her super, super viable, especially in our Spiral Abyss this day and age, right? So I think Kamisato Ayato is going to have to compete with these characters in a sense that he has to be, he has to have a place fit for him. Now, recent characters like Shen He allow 
certain mono teams. They want to make very specific niche teams, especially from what we're seeing with, you know, Yaimiko, with Shen He, with these types of characters in which they want characters to be in their mono teams, in their specific element teams. And I think that's a little bit interesting. And I don't know if they want, you know, every single character to do that. That's what we're seeing so far. And it's a little bit unfortunate. I really am excited to see what they do with Ayato. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I'll be reading all of them. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, consider liking this video as well as subscribing to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Goodbye.